Apple Card. That's what we're talking about today. This credit card I've come to really, really like. Um, there's several features, not about it specifically, but about the whole paying your bills and that type of stuff that I've come to really, really like about it. And of course the card is pretty sweet. Now, I've had this for close to six months now. Um, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, which the unboxing was impressive and Apple, of course, always nails it with their unboxing. So let's get into that video and then I will talk about the actual credit card itself. Okay, so that unboxing was impressive. I really like the whole colorful, you know, when you open it up, it's like, whoa, super cool, you pull it out. I mean, it's an Apple product. Any Apple product's pretty sweet. So, of course, the card is metal, um, and it's actually somewhat heavy. If you compare it to a plastic card versus this card, it actually is somewhat heavier. Now, I've come to really like it. A lot of people comment on it, actually, when you hand it to them. They're like, they feel it. They're like, what card is this? This is a sweet card. Um, I'm gonna talk about just some, some features about it that I've come to really like. Now, one feature is it doesn't have the actual card numbers on it anywhere. Uh, there's a couple of the cards that do this. This card does not have any numbers on it, only your name, the Goldman Sachs on the back, the MasterCard, and the Apple logo. That's pretty much it, it's just a simple, card really like that that modern feature about it slim just clean so the apple card is built essentially the numbers are built into your actual phone so inside your phone you can open up the apple wallet uh, and you go to your apple card you tap on that you hit more information i believe and it'll scan your face and it'll show your card number your uh, expiration date, your security code there, the three numbers, and it just has all those facts about it. And the other nice thing is if you lose this card, you can deactivate it on your phone and they will ship you another one, or you can request another one. Um, I don't think they'll ship it right when you deactivate it, you have to request that. Or if you want a second card, you can request a second card. You don't have to redo your whole account because there's no card numbers on it. Someone steals this, they can't find the card numbers. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, next feature is the whole paying your bills and everything is very easy. So in the Apple Wallet, you just do monthly payments. Uh, you can do that automatically, very easy to set up. Your whole spending and all of that is very easy to see. You can see you know, what all of your spending has been, what it, what it has been for the past month, week, day, uh, different colors change, the actual card changes on your Apple card, the, the color of it. Uh, the percentage you get back goes right to your Apple Cash. You can deposit that in your bank very easily. Just very easy to use, and that's one thing I've really liked about it. Very easy to see expenses come in. Uh, you can also, if there's any problem with any of your expenses, you can report that straight to Apple. They get back to you really fast. Uh, I've had a couple fake charges that I just had them refunded and blocked that user. Very easy. Next thing, of course, is the percentage back. You want a card that gives you good percentage back. And this card is an okay card. So it's not great, but it's not bad. So you get 1% back on everything. So any purchase you make anywhere, you get 1% back, so okay. 2% back if you use your Apple Pay from your card. So you scan your, you, you double click, you scan it on the reader, whatever that accepts Apple Pay. You get 2% back on all of that. So that's nice. I've come to use that more because you get another percentage back. 
and 3% back on all Apple products, which of course, some people are like, well, I never buy Apple products, so you don't have to worry about that. But I've come to like that 3% back. I mean, Apple Watch, phones, computers, you get a lot of money back with those. Uh, I've actually had several of my siblings use my card because you get 3% back. So other cards don't do that on tech products or things like that. It might only be 1% or 1.5%. So overall, the percentage back is okay. It's not great. Um, I do have another card that gives me 5% back on certain months. They give certain shopping places or restaurants, you get 5% back. Um, I have noticed though, there are several perks. Uh, maybe every month I'll get one thing that'll pop up in the Apple Wallet and it'll say get 3% back on Amazon or 3% back on USPS or Home Depot or something like that. So you do get some of those, not quite as good as other cards. I use Discover as my other card. So. Honestly, it's a great card. It's easy to get, very easy to use. It's a cool card. Um, the wear and tear on it, this is six months wear and tear. And I mean, you can see scratches, the corners are somewhat worn, but I only use it a couple times a week maybe, or once a week. I don't use it much, especially with COVID. I'm not going out much um, and using it in stores. So if it was, it was my everyday driver because I use my other card for uh, work expenses and stuff like that, then it would be worn more. But honestly, it's a cool card. I'm happy Apple came out with their own credit card. Good money back, not great. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool card. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you can apply for the Apple card just in your Apple wallet. And also I wanted to talk about this wallet right here. This is not an Apple wallet. There actually are Apple wallets. You can magnet to the back of your iPhone 12 uh, or 12 Pro. Anyhow, this is a push button wallet. You literally just push that and pop, comes right out your cards. You pull out your card, you slip in your card just like that. It's very easy to use. Uh, you can put business cards or something back there, cash in the front, and I believe it holds six to seven cards. Um, and you can also push off this leather here and you can get down just to some metal. Uh, pretty cool case, I'll have it linked down in the description if you guys wanna check this out. Thanks for watching guys and thank you so much for you who have subscribed to my channel. It's just, it's really nice to see my channel slowly growing, but uh, hopefully I'm gonna hit a thousand here maybe in a month or two, or it might take a little longer. Um, at 775 right now, that'd be really great if we could hit a thousand, well, probably not gonna happen, but before 2021, that would be crazy. Probably not gonna happen sometime in the new year. Uh, I'm gonna be coming out with probably a giveaway, actually, when I hit a thousand subscribers. So subscribe so you guys can see what I give away when I hit a thousand subscribers. But thank you guys, make sure you smash that like button, of course, if you liked the video. Only do it if you like it and or you like me either way. But stay safe out there with COVID. Uh, it's just getting crazy. Um, and I would say Merry Christmas because it is Christmas time. But a lot of my videos don't get views to like months later or years later after I post them. So it may not be a Christmas if you're watching this video. But if it is Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, over and out. Why did I say over and out? I'm like, what? Nah, never mind. See ya.